Hello, hello, it's Veru, and we are back in Oxygen Not Included. Let's uh, unpause and get things started. Looks like we are still building our heat retaining wall, or heat excluding wall, as it were. I'm dropping a bunch of crap down here. Doing well on meal ice. Pressure has equalized in here. It's a brand new day for me. Oh, yeah, clean that toilet. Camille, you're not the best person. I think Catalina seems to me to be the best. Come on, guys. Actually, finish the job. Thank you. Okay. Now, this is eight. Let's do this is seven, and this is eight. And let's see if you actually uh, do your freaking jobs. Someone should be filling up that compost shortly. Good job, good job. Is it just me or they're a little bit crazy on the disinfecting? Let's not disinfect this thing because it's always going to be gross. Because we store poop in it. So, yeah. No reason to bother with that. Um, okay, Frankie is getting through that abyssalite, which makes me happy. Not only because he's getting through it, but because it means I'm going to have Abyssalite, and I like Abyssalite. Abyssalite is a great uh, thermal resistor. Insulator, rather. Um, does a great job of keeping heat in. Really, if I wanted to be absolutely sure that I didn't get heat into the base leading up to when this thing goes vacuum, I could pull all this out. In reality, I'm not going to. In fact... I closed this in, but I didn't finish clearing it out yet. Doing a real nice job, guys. Other pressing concerns. This thing's still pumping. We still have space to fill. Happy about that. We are almost done with this area, so I'll be able to fence this off soon enough. Eventually I'll probably want to come down and claim all this granite, but maybe not. I might have enough granite. How much granite do I have? 89 tons. Seems like that might be enough granite for my general purposes. Oh, all the debris everywhere is making most of this place ugly as sin. When's the next duplicant? Nope, not for a while. So I think I'm going to keep this as it were, as it is for now. I can't see any reason I need to change it yet. Um, probably what's going to happen is everything from this line up is going to get refurbished to some extent. Probably centralize the bedrooms. Might have changed the ladder configuration. This is probably all going to change once we get off of algae. Which I actually might not do for a while, considering how much algae there is. Slowly getting through it. Oh, this wall is done. Get all of that grabbed when you get a chance. Let's grab all of that as well. Okay, so if this thing is going to terminate up here, we're talking, the, and then this one is going to go all the way out to here. Three not too long sections. This section is a bit long. I could have a fourth exit, but I don't think I want one. That's just more places heat can get in. That being said, if I'm planning on using exploity glitches like the Borg Cube, does it matter? Like, I can, uh, I can functionally remove heat at will. It's a bit of a pain, costs a few materials, but it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. What I want is for them to start getting this stuff out of here. So once this is out, I can seal it up. 
Um, let's just confirm. Oh, I don't have gas filters yet. So I could just pull everything out. And honestly, is there anything in there? There is hydrogen. I would like to move hydrogen to a specific place. So now it's just uh, waiting for them to get stuff done. Long-term goals. Uh, I kind of want to leave as much of this here as I can. Some of this is already hot, though. That might have to go. Hmm, jobs mastered. What do we got? Apprentice architect. Okay. Now you become a miner, my dear. Hey! Clap your hands, kid. Really? Okay, that, that wasn't the more important stuff. In fact, let's cancel this. I really want this stuff taken care of. Can you get this stuff out for me? A, there's more oxygen up here, so the chances of them dropping it and being like, Oh, I, I can't. I need to go breathe. Is less. And B, I'm closer to being able to start that gas pump. Though I do need gas filters, I suppose. And there won't be any hydrogen in this layer, will there? But I'll have to clear out all of this before I seal it. Off to sleeps. Just nice and early. Having my morning tea. Like Avec, I'm a tea drinker. I do not go in for the barbaric disgustingness that is uh, the burnt beans of coffee. I prefer my leaves dried. Research. Joshua. 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 Good man. Get on gophering. Because right now, all you can carry is not enough. Oh, see that? 880. This Catalina here can carry 280 plus 600 so I think they start with 400 and she has yeah from groundskeeper and gopher plus 400 so then you start it with 250 I guess 840 that is gorgeous she is good at her job. I like you, Catalina. Oh, good. I can get clean toilets. I'm going to ask you guys to do that now before it becomes an issue. It's a little bit easier to micromanage these things if I'm trying to maintain slightly more toilets than I would optimally want for the number of dupes I have. could lock this and put a ladder down. It's a little bit less efficient, but nah, I'll, I'll let them go through. A little bit of oxygen gets out, it's not a problem. Can you guys go fill that up? Ah! Of course, I haven't put the pitcher pump back in. And we're out of water anyway, so oh, it's fine. I can put it in like so. And that is all of the water. Let's just mop the rest up. I'm gonna need to get a bottle emptier in. Clear the line, so we're going to enable this just until that line is clear. And then we're going to take all of this crap apart.
And that is that. That will be fine. And also... And lastly... Okay, so that is a lot of materials I can reclaim. Long term, I'm probably not going to need them. But, it never hurts to have stuff. Oh god, you guys are really annoying with all this. Okay, what do we set to disinfect at? How many germs does this, this thing have? Disinfect at 50,000, please. I want you guys wasting your time disinfecting everything all the time. Now, if I can get this built sooner, that would make me happy. Okay, Betty. Betty by it is. We are still doing well on food. We have a tremendous amount of meal ice. Cook is cooking. Who is our cook? We have a sous chef. Frankie would like to be a sous chef, but he has not yet secured his goal. His position as minor extraordinaire. Being said, is there any more abyssalite I need mined immediately? There doesn't appear to be, so... Frankie, my dear. I'm downgrading you to sous chef. Now, because he hasn't actually mastered a tier 3 job, his expectations are now going to drop back down to tier 2. It's quite often useful to pop someone into a tier 3 or a tier 2 job just temporarily to do a certain amount of work without allowing them to master it right away. Um, no, no one with good lear learning. The yokel with diver's lung would be fine, but but I'm I'm being picky. And that's that's the only reason he's not, because I'm picky. Where'd Frankie go? Where's your sous chef at? There you are, mate. So, uh, jobs, uh, priorities. I don't want anyone else cooking. Uh, okay, so yeah, basically I just need to tell other people not to cook. Are we clear enough now? None of you guys cook. Frankie is my cook. I want him to get good at it. For when there is not mining to be doing, he shall be cooking. So saith I. Oxygen is okay-ish. That's good quality oxygen. You guys ever gonna... Do I have this set up to receive? No. Now you should grab those seeds out for me, and can someone deconstruct this tile? Open this airlock. Frankie, cooking three, mate. Good job on you. He's going to do it faster than anybody else. We want to convert all that meal life, meal lice, into lice loaf. You only gain 500 kilocalories per conversion, and it does take water. It's arguable whether it's a good deal, but more importantly, it's better quality food, which means my dupes don't get so stressed and unhappy. Okay, that thing fell, so we can put it back. that. That one fell. Good, good. This is an alternate technique to uh, trying to actually get up there to deconstruct. It's just make things fall into a better position. 
There we go. And once they've started, you can assign the next one. Good job. Okay, we can now put in that last bit of tile here. Don't really care if that airlock shut for now. It'll be more of an issue in a bit. Okay. And now we can also begin to... Tile over. Now we might need to add a few more ladders. I think that'll be fine for that. I will try leaving it like this and see how that works. Glad I cleaned out that last one. Who knows, it might have gone at the same time. Let's just confirm that we have set up the water supply so that m making a mess will not get into it. I believe so. They have not yet finished clearing this out. That's fine. They're going to want to sweep all of this. Everything. Oh my gosh, so much to do. I need more dupes. When you have this much food, you're doing pretty well on oxygen, and you don't have enough dupes. It's a little bit of a sore spot. We just clear these uh, seeds real quick. Thank you. I just feel better knowing it's clear. And now we can finally do one at a time, just so they don't trap themselves back there like idiots, because they are idiots. It's a bit wasteful. There you go. And we also actually need to build our uh, gas pump down here, don't we? And get the infrastructure set. I am probably going to pull the pipes up this way. In fact, I could link everything in here and make this one single gas filter. Save a little bit of resources in the short term. It's not really critical, doesn't really matter. But it might look a bit better. I doubt I'm going to end up running them both at the same time is the only thing, though. So that might not be the best way to go through it. Said I could just run it like this. Hmm. Okay, yeah, guys, get it done. Oh, there's a hatch in there, so if you guys could just get that built so it doesn't go around here consuming stuff. That would make me feel better as well. Sorry about the feed, mate. Probably could give you better access, like so. Then we're going to link 
link the wires up. This will go into one single gas filter. Ventilation pipe I'm not worried about meeting up because it's not going to control. Uh, actually, now that I say that, let's just very quickly make sure I keep this thing on a gas bridge so I don't have to worry about it trying to backdraft into a different pipe. So this is something I've learned since I started playing, which is if you use these bridges, it will it basically determines that the flow through it is only ever one way. So as soon as a gas crosses here, it will never backtrack through that pipe. That little arrow tells you. See the arrow? Yay. Gas goes this way. Um, and now that's brilliant because a lot of the times you'll end up with, if you have a bad piping system, a bad ventilation piping system, you'll end up getting a lot of backflow over time. And it'll clog up your pipes and just really, really reduce the efficiency of movement through your ventilation system. Getting the work done. Pardon for my breathing. I've got structural sinus problems, so I, uh, I breathe a bit lamely. I'm sure you've noticed. <laughs> Especially since the microphone is so close to my face. Let's get rid of these ladders. I forgot to do that. Now I'm just doing this because it's cleaner and because I'm not sure if the material itself conducts heat. If it does, I don't want heat to be coming from the tile through the ladder into the other tile. The whole point is to have vacuum so that no heat can transfer from the outside in. Okay. Clean it up. We are... We've converted all the lice loaf, it looks like. I don't know. Some meal lice just got delivered. It's said. Don't see any. Meal lice. Hmm. Oh, must have just gotten delivered immediately. That's fine. 4,000 grams. This little farm. It's not that much, but I don't have very many guys, so it's really out producing my needs. I could, uh, I could turn it off for a little bit and get some more work done. And I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to... One, two, three, four, five... It's kind of pretty. Um, I've got five dupes. Every two of these produces a lice loaf bar, which is good for them for almost two days. They're on a three-day cycle. This way they'll give priority to these two sections, which should be fine. Okay, come on. Come on. Good duplicate. Good duplicate. <sighs> They're garbage. Not been lucky with my duplicates, I will say. Okay, it looks like they are doing five jobs without being told. So I'm guessing I don't have any super duper high pressing uh, jobs above that. So I don't really need to increase things unless I want it done immediately. I love watching them run around. A lot of cleaning to do. That's not even including all the crap at the bottom of the pool. Still, the pool is germ-free. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Still haven't found a cold biome, but there might be one up in this direction. It's hard to say. Could be one in any direction. 
we are going to start plowing through here once our algae gets drops below about three tons. Okay, uh, I can build that wall back up. And I could probably build this wall up as well. Um, they now have an easy enough way to get through. Like I said, it'd be nice for them to have an oxygen path. Hmm. I want to start breaking these ladders down. fall. You're going to run out of oxygen. You need to like head back. Go get your breath. Come back. Come back fresh. Okay. Vacuum section one's going to be fine soon. I should probably turn this thing back on and get us some gas pipe, uh, gas filters ready to go. So, filtration, then we're going to go distillation and we're going to start building a plumbing system. Now, in general, when I build a plumbing system, I like to primarily use my polluted water through a water sieve to produce uh, a closed loop gray water system for toilets and sinks. Um, as far as I can tell, the germs don't make it into the sinks and the sinks are germy anyway. So simply by virtue of the fact that people are washing germs off their hands in them. The quality of the water doesn't seem to make a difference. They still are able to fulfill their function. But I would like to get off of toilets that need to be manually emptied. In fact, I don't like the fact that these are both currently on the same schedule. So let's take care of that. I do three at the same time, or is that going to be a problem? Probably a problem. Do, 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 do. Research is coming along nicely. Okay, we just need to do these and then I can... There we go. We can tile this off and we've got space for our first vacuum. <coughs> we are going to need to find a place to filter hydrogen into. What I'm thinking is we're going to build ourselves a little hydrogen box. And we're going to put a gas pump in there. So when time comes, we can compress. Well, we, we're not going to have access to high pressure uh, gas vents for a while and the capacity to build them for even longer. But basically, we can store a little bit of hydrogen. And then when it comes time, we can get a little bit of energy back from it. Research complete. Thank you. While we're here, Got smelting, I need distillation, sanitation, and decontamination. We'll go with distillation first. Okay. 
sand is annoying. Clear that out. Get a gas pump into here. And then we'll pull it out a little bit further. And eventually close it off. Okay. Uh, and obviously we are also going to need... Nope. Ah. Gas vent. And gas pipe leading to that gas vent. That should do it. Now, ventilation-wise, we now have a gas filter. Switch that thing around. I should be able to start this pretty much ASAP. Get the hydrogen filtered into here as soon as this thing is cleared out. Shut this. Fil well, cleared out and all of this is built. Which they are luckily doing quite quickly. Research is coming very quickly. Advantage of having really smart dupes? Oh my god. I can't even play with really dumb dudes anymore. Like, negative three to learning? It's just painful. Being able to get research done quickly is very important to me. Let's see. What's going on here? Fertilization. Ah, yeah. Because I dropped your guys' priority down. I'll bring it back up if we start, if we drop below uh, 15. Yeah, 15 kilocalories. Okay. Next thing, sanitation and decontamination, please. We now have a water sieve. Water sieve is probably going to go down here. Maybe not, though. I'm not sure if I want to build up that heat. Hmm. But the bathrooms are on this side, so... Yeah, probably. I could put it in this little area. Or even right up here. Fill it in here, move the compost pile outside. I'll have to walk a little bit further to actually go dump the poop, but the poop won't be an issue for much longer anyway. Hard choices. What I'll probably end up doing is just extending the room out to here, like so, and I can put it in right back here. Facts. Let's just get started on that right now. Okay, this is for hydrogen. And as for power, disconnect to that. There you go. How's the mains? Uh, can't really support whole nother set, so we're going to have to build a different power circuit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this power circuit up. I'm going to move... I'm going to move this battery system to go down this way, just to clear up the, the wiring a little bit. Research complete, still working on decontamination. Good on you. Okay. Should be able to start doing this vacuum as soon as this gas pump's built and I have a new power system in place. Okay, now just... Come on, guys, everyone with me. Smart dupe. Ooh, a rancher. With good farming, but you're just not good enough. 
mouth breather. You're horrible. You're just despicable. Oh my gosh. More garbage. I wish it was like, uh, you know, with one of those card packs from Magic the Gathering where you're like, you're, or maybe not Magic the Gathering, but like Hearthstone where you're guaranteed to get one good one. But obviously, I guess in that one, you, you get all of them. So, totally different mechanic. Can we just, uh, can we build this? Thank you. Oh, I've got mesh tiles now. That's exciting. And a normal tile here. And that is our hydrogen bay. The base is getting way too hot. Oh, I'm going to need to get a board cube up sooner than I wanted to. Well, it's still okay down here where the food is. Okay. Now, power. I'm gonna bring you out to here. Can I get this all done, please? Also, all doors should be eights. on copper. I'm going to have to go on a iron run soon. Luckily, lots of iron just floating around. Okay, so once this is connected, got that power to the wiring system, what we're going to do is we are going to bring this down and across. Cut this wire. Cut this wire. And then connect this up. Nope. That's ugly. That's better. Yep, get it built. Oh, and before I forget, let's turn that one off. Though it's not going to anything, so. Hmm. Still, good habits, good habits. Get it done. Ah, that's the other thing. Need to actually get the pipings finished. Um, gas pipe into you. You, and you, uh, I'll just pipe you. We can try to flesh out the pressure in the lower half of the base. Ventilation. I'm going to go down first so that there's space to do the hydrogen thing if I need to. Yeah, air pressure is lower down there. It's a, it's a mega project trying to create these little walls, these vacuum sealed walls, yawn. Ah, stretch. I mean, not yawn. No, kind of a yawn. Okay, um, what, what am I got priority on these? It's also 7, 6, this. This is going to drain power very quickly. <coughs> Thank you. 
Downside being we're going to use a lot of manpower just keeping these batteries charged. It's going to produce a lot of heat into the base. But if it works, it's going to cut out this entire heat creep vector from the north. Well, half of it. This is actually the more important wall. I really should be focusing on this. This one I'm happy to leave to last. There's not a lot of heat creeping in from that direction. Data Master General Engineer, did you? Okay. But have you mastered Groundskeeper? Yes. And Research? Yes. Have you mastered General Engineer? I just took you off of that. Uh, go for Ada, Ada, Ada. Have you done this one yet? Let's get you some more mining. Oh, someone else mastered something. Camille. Okay. Have you mastered research assistant? Yes. Have you mastered apprentice miner? Yes. Groundskeeper? No. There you go. Get good. And there it goes. It's going to take a while. Right now we are working on the hundreds of grams. All the way up to more than a thousand grams up in the top here. Okay, so, might as well start moving towards liquid tuning. I'm going to need liquid tuning, HVAC, uh, generic sensors, and lower, I'm going to need a lot of research before I can build myself a little board cube, but that's fine. Quick look. So far, the only thing it's outputting is oxygen. It's about what we expected. Okay. Research complete. Jobs mastered. Joshua, you're a gopher. Good job, mate. Um, everyone is now a gopher. Can I get you to be able to mine hard things? That would be useful. Now eventually, he's going to start pumping chlorine into the base. Not too much of it, though. More hydrogen than chlorine. You can see it down here. Being sneaky. Slightly green. Actually care more about these walls than I do those stairs. Also, please don't trap yourselves in there. That would be upsetting. And to bed. We are in micrograms. Or milligrams at this point. Micrograms is yet to come. Hydrogen is still up there. Hasn't crept down yet. Still pumping only oxygen, which I'm happy to see. Carbon dioxide will come later. Yep, fill up those batteries. This is the main problem with this technique, is it is very energy intensive. These gas pumps use a fair amount of energy and they use it constantly. Ah, at least until they run out. Okay. This has been done, so I could already begin to put in my water sieve. Like so.
Yeah, look at the draining. Wow. So fast. We need people on bikes. Yep. It's okay, actually, if the... If they stop for a little bit anyway, because it just allows pressure to equalize in the chamber. Which is not a problem. None of this is getting done, I can see. That's fine, this is the simpler bit to do. Let's get things in place. We're gonna want a gas pump right up here. Bunch of chlorine gas is gonna get into the base. Fun, fun, fun. And honestly, honestly, do we need to keep doing this? Probably not. What is the pressure in here? Oh gosh, the oxygen pressure is already so high. You know what, before we do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deconstruct this. We're going to pump some of this oxygen out. We're going to need to set this up. Ventilation. We're going to need another gas filter. Gas pipe. And... Hydrogen is going to be going up. Everything else is going to be going down. In fact, actually, do I need to even get in there? No, no, I don't. Never mind that. Cancel that. Um, power's already set up. How is the circuit? Circuit can support more. It's going to drain quicker. But that's as it is. shouldn't have any hydrogen coming out yet anyway. So in fact, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to stop that for now. And we are just going to ventilate the oxygen. Now, this is going to be problematic once the hydrogen starts creeping down, which it's very slowly starting to do. And, of course, there's sand. So. I want to get this thing going. Come in. Okay. Oh, yeah, obviously. Pipe is blocked. Jobs mastered. Who we got? Catalina, good job. Let's get you on General Engineer. You'll need everyone doing that since we're all running on our little hamster wheels. It's an important part of the work we do for our community. And please don't be garbage. You're all garbage once again. Well, plus five strength, plus three creativity, pacifist, higher decor expectation. And still garbage learning. No. Okay. So this will just pump this out. After that, I can disconnect it. That will be fine. Yeah, we don't have any hydrogen coming in yet. Because this is such an enclosed space, it's actually going to move to vacuum pretty quickly. Also, pressure equalizes in this shape a lot better than in these small straight lines. And we have achieved vacuum. So, 
we are going to disconnect these pipes. You guys do that before hydrogen starts getting in these pipes, please. Still a ways out. Okay, so now this should be able to hold one, two, three, four, five, of uh, 10,000 kilograms of hydrogen, which I'm sure is more than I've actually got in here. Pretty sure. Yeah. So this should be able to hold all the hydrogen we've got in there. crap down here. I hate the H key. I do not understand why anyone would be like, I want to suddenly pop right back to my duplicate entry. Who builds their base around it to the point where they're like, I need to be able to get there at will. Okay, we are in the milligrams of oxygen. At the far point being around 230. How about down here? Ooh, significantly less. No, no. Okay, yeah. Chlorine is up to this point. Okay. And how are we doing on research? Good enough. Okay. That is done. So, I need to really hollow this thing out properly. This is going to be where my cesspit is. This is going to be where my cesspit is. So let's build it properly. Good. And we will drop in a liquid pump here. We're going to need ladders going down through here. And all of this is going to have to go. Um, in the meantime, this will be fine for now. This will fall down, fill in here. This is another big project that needs doing. Oh, so many big projects. Um, and not enough dupes to do them. So many projects, so few dupes. Just clean that toilet before it gets critical. Unfortunately, we're going to begin to pump some not-so-happy gases into the base soon. Chlorine is up to here now. Carbon dioxide, chlorine, oxygen, yep. Yeah, there we go. Chlorine takes over right here. Oh. And there's the chlorine starting to come through. Which is a bummer. Chlorine entering the base imminently. Relatively small amounts, but still, it's annoying. Especially if it gets into our farm. Keeping that in mind, maybe we could do ourselves a favor and close this off as a matter of priority, so... Priority, guys. Priority. Get this done. Before chlorine ends up in my farm.
oxygen out to here. Hydrogen is now right up to here. Still vacuum in here. Okay, carbon dioxide is now fought its way fully up to here. There's a battle. Who will win? Carbon dioxide, obviously, but let's see. Anything happening over here? I'll have to increase this priority if I ever want this to actually get done. But there we go. And I'm gonna need actually to put in a second bits of ladder. Ladder. Like so. Oh, finish research. Okay, so we have got our liquid tuning. We still need low resistance conductors and generic sensors. We're gonna go for generic sensors first. No, oh, and HVAC. So basically all of the research. We need to finish all of the research. Just in the background while we accomplish slow but steady progress in our other objectives. Hydrogen still is not gotten any closer to the base. How are we? More chlorine than oxygen is coming out, but we are talking micrograms, or milligrams rather. Pretty soon we won't be pumping any oxygen to the base, just disgusting gases we don't like. Now, um, let's seal this off if we can. And how long have I been recording now? A um, couple more minutes would be fine. This is actually a pretty good spot to put the kitchen. We actually don't need that ladder there. That is fine. Don't want to worry about that just yet. Uh, or do we? What I could do instead is build an airlock right there. Clear this out from this side seal it off and then I could before too much chlorine actually gets into the base I could deal with it that way that will work chlorine's all gonna sink ish towards the bottom anyway should all be swimming around down here We're at six tons of algae and we are at max pressure in most of the base Plenty of space for pressure to come up here, obviously, because I've got dupes breathing up here all the time. Now, what I could do is I could put up another deoxidizer up here, but that's a bit annoying, so I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Two out of three packets is chlor or chlorine. Carbon dioxide has gotten all the way up to here now. So we've almost exhausted the chlorine in the base. That's good. Uh, yeah. And yeah, chlorine is gone out of the system. Now it's carbon dioxide predominantly coming through. This hydrogen does not seem to be coming down at all. I guess it, it has no desire to, to move in this direction. If there's enough space, it's only going to be once there's vacuum here that it's going to begin to make its way down out of its little perch. There is beginning to be vacuum over here. Nature pours a vacuum. So confused by the way you guys want to do these 
matters. Okay, we are still well above the number of kilocalories I actually need to have in the base at any given time. Has hydrogen come down yet? No. And at the high end, we've got 151 grams left of carbon dioxide in the system. So that is all going to get pumped down. A lot of that's going to end up in here, and then I'm going to have to pump it back out of this system, which is annoying, but it is what it is. I think now's probably a good time to stop the episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, let me know. Oh, yawn. Very early. Um, again, yeah, let me know what you're thinking, what you'd like to see, if you want me to see any, if you want to see me play any other games, obviously I'm open to things. Um, also, I'm curious where you think I should go next. I'm guessing what I'm going to do, because of the algae situations, I'm probably going to go out to the west here don't have that much space. I mean, obviously, the, most of the distance is up and down. But, um, I suppose we could go up. There's not nearly as much algae up that I can see. A lot more chlorine and hydrogen. I could start trying to collect all this hydrogen and use it for short-term power generation with a hydrogen generator, which I don't currently have the research for. But, regardless, until then, take care of yourself. Have a good day. You will hear me when you hear me.